Bitcoin is important, it's going to crash. I think if it goes to 27,000 a coin, I'm going to back up the truck. I'm going to buy more because you know, I'm very optimistic about Bitcoin. And let me explain why, but also why the risk is here. This is macro financial education. In 1960 and 1980, my generation, the boomers, didn't like stocks because everybody at my time of when I was a kid, everybody said anybody invests in the stock market is a gambler. Now, everybody's in the stock market. So how did that happen? Well, in 1974, they brought this thing called a 401k out. I won't touch that thing. I would not touch a 401k or an IRA. Why? Because I don't have to. You know, they tell you exactly to tell you when to wear the mask and when to get a vaccine. They tell you what you can invest in, in a 401k and an IRA. I refuse to do that. Yeah. I refuse to do that, but I don't have to do that because as an entrepreneur, I create my own assets. I don't need the stock market. You do. I'm not saying don't invest in it. I'm not saying don't have a 401k, don't have an IRA. Just screw you. I'm not going to be told what to do. That's why I'm an entrepreneur. You like being told what to do? Go to school, get a job, save money, pay your taxes, get out of debt and invest in the stock market. I don't want to do that. And that is what you have to invest in. Mm -hmm. They had to do it because my generation wasn't investing in it. Mm -hmm. So that's why 19, between 1960 and 1980, they didn't like stocks. So they, the 401k came out. Then what happened is in 1987, the stock market crashed. So Greenspan comes out. He's a Federal Reserve guy. Remember, the Federal Reserve is not American. It's not a government agency. So he came out and what Greenspan put was what I call a PPT. It's the plunge protection team, or also called the Greenspan put, or also what people say, don't fight the Fed. Basically, what Greenspan did is every time the stocks crashed, the plunge protection team would protect you. So my generation, the boomers are going, well, I don't have to worry because every time the market crashes, the Federal Reserve Bank and the Treasury will bail me out. So that's today we have our U.S. corporations, our zombie, 20% of U.S. corporations are zombie corporations. It means they're broke, but they're being propped up by the Federal Reserve Bank and the government. That's communism. So anyway, stocks get protected. Gold is a good investment because the Fed, all the central banks in the world now own gold. So they're not going to let gold crash. They'll do something to make sure the price of gold stay up, stays up. So I don't like stocks, but I like gold. Uh, silver is getting more valuable because gold, all the gold never disappears. It just keeps piling up. But silver is being used in the Green New Deal, mm -hmm. in solar cells, in medical things. So I like silver. And if you can see back here, you look at this here. Silver was $2. It hit $50 here when the Hunt brothers were trying to manipulate the gold market. And even today, it's only 27 But you can't get any. You can't get any. Because they're manipulating it. They're trying to force it higher. Well, I'll say it one more time. This is how much opportunity you have. And that's gold, silver, and crypto not that big and you can make more money planting apple trees <clears throat> so, or water like that deal I was talking yeah. about okay so here's stocks the, the government will will make sure it doesn't crash gold will not crash but crypto could you know why because the Fed doesn't want it because the reason I like crypto, the reason I buy Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that stuff is I don't like the Fed. When I talk to most of the young guys, they don't like the Fed either. But the problem is, and this is why you've got to be smarter, is that the Fed wants to take this out. The European Central Bank, the ECB, wants to take it out. The Bank of Japan wants to take it out. The Bank of China wants to take it out. So that's why all you crypto guys, you've got to be smarter today. You don't just sit there and go, oh. Mm -hmm. 
So you crypto guys, you got to be smarter because what possibly it hasn't happened yet is a Fed coin or a Yuan coin, a Chinese coin. China and China will probably have it before the U.S. Mm -hmm. And there will be a European coin. And that'll destroy the, they'll destroy, they want to destroy Bitcoin. So you guys in Bitcoin, you've got to be smarter. So as it's coming down, like I said, I'm still going to buy more. But when it passes 27,000, I'm going to back up the truck, just like I did when it passed uh, 9,000. Because mm -hmm. that's, that's what uh, traders do. So let me show you that the, the bigger thing here is this. This is the future. This has not happened, but it might happen. Mm -hmm. If there's a Fed coin, they're going to get rid of the commercial banks. You see, the only way the money can go into the marketplace right now is the, not Fed, the Fed prints money. They give the money to commercial banks like U.S. Bank and Bank of America and Wells Fargo, and they lend the money out. But if the Fed coin comes out, they don't need these banks. Mm -hmm. And you worked for a bank, didn't you? Yep, Wells Fargo. And the only way somebody could get money, they got a credit card, real estate, or a student loan, right? Yep, they need that credential history. So if there's a Fed coin, Wells Fargo is gone. I'm not saying this is going to happen. This is my prediction of what might happen. Don't say I'm saying it's going to go out and all this stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. At the same time, if a Fed coin comes in, it wipes me out. Because the way I get my money is I have great credit. And like I said, just last week, Ken, Ken Malcroy and I borrowed $160 million. And that's why uh, one of my friends predicted that Bitcoin will go to 1.2 million. I don't know that. I just listened to him. He's a lot smarter than me, you know? But he says 1.2 million. Max Kaiser says 250,000. Some guys say, you know, 100,000. I watch silver. I think silver will go to 100. If silver goes to 100, I make a lot of money. It doesn't make any difference. There's so many ways you can get rich in a capitalist society, but the moment we go to this here, we've lost. So I don't know what the future holds, but I think this is where we're going. So if this happens, my gold and silver are not in this country. I love Bitcoin because it's portable, no storage problems.